future of laser therapy lies in finding the killer app. And if you can find the killer app that will make people say this is something that does, a, does something that we can't do in, in medicine and people start looking at it seriously at a, at a high level clinical arena, then I, th I think and I hope and I believe that laser will then become integrated. Because I've seen it develop since 1988, I had hoped that 10 years ago. And I see, I see inertia in medicine and the influence of drug companies as being the biggest barrier. So that's why you need the killer app. You, you, if you dabble in you know, a little bit of pain treatment, a little bit of wound healing, I don't think that's going to raise the eyebrows. But if you can treat, as we are seeing, um, brain injury, traumatic brain injury in, in the young soldiers coming back from Afghanistan, if you can change stroke and reduce the, um, reduce the damage from stroke, where there's nothing we can do very much, although that, perhaps that's not quite true, but we're limited in our tools, I think I, I would like to see that these things do become available to help people. I mean, that is actually um, when when one isn't just there trying to generate an income and build a business, um, and and the focus has got to be on helping people.